So three basic examples here just to kind of get the ball rolling so you can see how moments uh, work. Okay, so we want to find the moment about O in each of these cases. So the moment about O is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance from O to the force. Okay, so we also need to consider the sense. So is it going to result in a clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, direction? Okay, will the object rotate one way or the other. And if it's anti-clockwise, it's positive. And if it is clockwise, it is negative. So here we've got this 8 newtons working that way. OK, so clearly the force times the perpendicular distance is 8 times 3, so 24 newton meters. OK, then which way is it going? Well, because it's going that way and O is below it, that would mean that it would make this rotation of that description. So we're going anti-clockwise and so the moment so the moment about O would be equal to 24 Newton meters. Okay? As for B we've clearly got this force of 10 Newtons and a 5 meters, okay, perpendicular distance. So 10 lots of 5 is 50. But this time, we're going around in that direction, which is a clockwise motion. And so it would be minus 50 Newton meters. OK, that would be the moment about O. Now C, OK, now just because the force is drawn here, remember that you just need to think about continuing that direction of the force using a dotted line, OK? And the distance that you're looking at is from O to that dotted line, that perpendicular distance, OK? So you can project that force forward, if you like, OK, to make it easier for yourself. So we'd have three lots of 14, so 28, 30, 42, OK? So 42 Newton metres. And we'd be going around that direction, so anti-clockwise, and so 42 Newton meters. OK? So that is how we can find the moment about O for some basic uh, little problems like that.